What's up, rock stars? I know what you're thinking. Didn't you already make an hour-long video unboxing some Dragori game stuff? Well, yes, I did, but that was only two small expansions. So, let's make another one. Now, before I make some more jokes at my own expense, uh, I would like to, of course, thank my sponsors of today's video, which is my patrons and YouTube members. You guys, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. It definitely helps bring a lot of great content to this channel, helps the channel out, may allows me to invest into it, you know, do more for you guys, show more off, cover more games, do all of that. That's all thanks to them, so thank you so much for that. Uh, really, it means a lot to me. You guys have no idea how much this is going to help the channel out, and I greatly appreciate it. So if you, even if it's a dollar a month, there's a link down below to my patron. Uh, it may mean a little bit to you, just being a dollar, but it means a lot to me, and I greatly appreciate it. But if not, that's fine too, of course. If you want to do something free, you can just leave a like on the video, of course, or uh, leave a comment. That always helps, because it helps the algorithm, and it helps me know what you're interested in. So... Let me know. Let me know what you're interested in. Let me know what your favorite part about this is. I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to. What I'm looking forward to is, I kind of already showed the new quality in the miniatures. I think I did that quite well. It was very exhaustive because I'm obsessive about this stuff, but I showed the old miniatures versus the new miniatures, talked about sculpt design, talked about sculpt detail, talked about color of minis and plastic and how that affects the lighting and on uh, such a small scale, all this kind of stuff. Like I covered a good chunk of it. So there is of course a link to that below, should you choose to uh, watch that. Maybe, uh, I know what a lot of you guys do is you actually put it on while you paint uh, some minis, maybe these said minis. If you need an excuse or a boost to paint your arena or Tenaris minis, uh, feel free, feel free to uh, use this video to give you a good excuse to do it. All right, so I think we're almost through all this. I think they really um, protect their game when they ship it, which is great, um, but it makes for a struggle for me because I struggle with even basic boxes and lids. Uh, you guys, especially with like Storm Thunder, you guys have seen it. It gets nasty. So, um, yeah, excited about this. All right, let's go see. Oh, what am I excited about? I'm excited to look at the actual printed components because um, I think those will be different too. Different manufacturer typically means different everything. And so I really want to see the difference there and any other improvements to storage and stuff like that. I'm going to have to get off camera here. Now, before I go, we are going to be having a top-down view of this later in the video. There's timestamps there. This is just me pulling everything out and kind of looking at it at a high level, and then we'll dive into the details. Okay, so. Oh, dear God, it's all taped together. All right. Wow. They are not joking around. Okay. All right. I think... You know, they do a wonderful job making sure this is protected. So I will give them that, but dear God, oh, I think I might just squeeze this out. Okay. Painted, I will definitely show you that. That'll be huge. Because um, I know you guys paid a lot of good money for that. And I know a little thing or two about painting, not just painting it by hand, but the, the mechanical process about uh, the operations that you pay for it and stuff like that. The use of stickers and decals versus airbrushing versus painting, uh, all, all that kind of stuff. So we'll take a look at all that. Oh, okay, all right, let's take a look here. Now, FYI, I already have Arena. I bought it, thank you patrons. Um, so, this is a great opportunity for me to show you guys, uh, kind of the, the changes, right? Something that I can just do for the channel, not for me personally. I don't, I don't, I don't need this. All I only needed was an upgrade package. I know this helps you guys out, but you guys get to benefit again. So, at the end of the year, my patrons like to throw a, kind of a, 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 a fundraiser event where I give away a lot of games. They give away a lot of games. You guys get a lot of cool stuff, prototypes. You guys will be able to play games you can't even get yet, but this will be included in there. You guys will be able to um, 
uh, one of you will be able to win this and get this. So, if you've been curious or you've been kind of on the fence with this, I'm trying to see where it ends here. If, uh, if for any reason that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe, even if you ignore the rest of my videos, because eventually you're going to see that video pop up towards the end of the year. And uh, that might be helpful. Okay. All right. I think I gave enough looseness where... Mike, look at this. <laughs> okay, so we have the legendary box. Very interested in this, especially the minis that weren't, like, re-sculpted. Really interested to show those. I showed the huge dragon here. Um, really interested to show the rest. And then, of course, the core box here as well. All right, so let's go ahead now. Painted Dragon's exciting. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in a detailed view. All right, now I'm going to start with the painted mini because I'm really excited to see it. I'm really curious to see how it turned out. Etc. Etc. So pumped to kind of take a look at this. Now, sadly, I didn't get any other dragons besides this one, but that's okay. We'll take a look and see how things turned out. Now, uh, I have gotten Street Fighter, and uh, that is also quite well painted for factory paint jobs. So I'll be kind of comparing it to that. Plus, you know, what I could do on my own, perhaps, which. Uh, I feel I'm about average, but I think some people would say I'm higher, some people would say I'm lower, which I think kind of describes average, right? So, ooh, that sticker was loud, all right. <laughs> all right, let's see here what we got. Now, there's no way of knowing that this one is painted besides that outer wrapping, or the sticker right here. But I'm tempted, can I save this? <laughs> I think so, maybe, yes. I think I'm gonna keep this. Um, actually, I think this art here is a little bit different, but um, either way, I'm going to go ahead and stick it on the bottom just so I will know. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look. All right. And here he is painted. Now, I will say right off the bat that I think he looks pretty cool. <laughs> but we'll take a look in more detail here if I can get him out. Cleanly. I don't like the clip-on or the snap-in trays pretty much ever, but oh, that just isn't too bad. So, the base itself is nice and clean. That was the first thing I was going to check, is just how clean is this. Let's go and zoom in a little bit here. Um, anyway, just uh, nice to kind of see that there's a little bit of, I think, some glue here. But I don't think there's really any paint. And it looks like they even maybe trimmed a little bit there, or maybe it was just, a, you know, rubbed on. I don't know. But either way... Um, that's that. Now looking at the skin here, one of the cool things that I see here is the, um, the differences. So you see how there's like some brown with the green? You see there's some brown here. There's kind of some undertones of this kind of brown. And then that kind of, uh, gets even darker here towards the spikes and actually goes up the spikes. The spikes themselves are this two-tone here, right? So you get the kind of the dark to the light. Um, it looks... The fairly dry brush, or actually it looks airbrushed, uh, just based off the little bit of a spatter that I see, but there might be a combination, because right here looks like a little bit of a brush stroke there. Um, either way, uh, they did pretty good on that. Now my guy is looking out to the left side here, and I think a little bit more straight here, so dead on. I don't know if you can see his eyes in both, but you see more yellow in this one, so he looks kind of kind of derpy, right? This this black line should be a little bit closer, I feel. But you know, you're not typically going to see him like that. Um, though, if you do, again, you can still again kind of see kind kind of see it there. <laughs> um, but from either side, I think it looks totally fine. Um, but yeah, this is definitely too far back. Uh, teeth look good. So that showed up well. There's not really any kind of rub off marks or anything like that, which is nice. Um, inside the mouth didn't get hit. Uh, so way back here is it looks like just the actual kind of gray uh, plastic or maybe just whatever undertone they used. I'm not sure which. Um, kind of hard to tell. And you see that throughout. So you see it like here and here as well. I think it's a base color, really, because it's not this color. It's closer to this color. But it's not quite that either. It's like something in between. 
but the tongue stands out really well there. Um, this ridge with the wash on it was applied quite well. They didn't let it pool really anywhere where it, I feel it shouldn't have. And there's a nice transition um, from probably a, a, either some kind of dry brush or uh, actually it looks like a general brush here because you can see the brush strokes here where they you know did this right to kind of paint it in there. But it's actually quite a pretty good blend here. Uh, so quite impressed with that. Underneath the wings actually look great in my opinion. I really like the, again, darker to lighter here on the underside. That's nice. A little bit of, a little bit of paint there. Um, so uh, really nice to kind of see that. And you can see it here too. Just makes it seem a little bit more believable when you put it there in kind of the creases like that. Looks like some kind of wash perhaps. And then on the other side is this, you know, again, this green with this darker around it and then the really dark kind of wing things that you kind of start uh, part way through. It's a pretty abrupt start. Um, this could have been blended more, I think, but otherwise that's okay. I really like the ring around the spikes, the kind of the dark thing there. I think that looks nice. Um, and then of course in the tail, it gets a lot lighter in the tail and I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but it's definitely not like this. Speaking of which, the arms, but the whole side seems different. So you see all the like, um, you know, kind of highlights here and the, the creases where the muscles are. And if you look on this side, and that's almost non, non-existent, there's a little bit here and here, but there's like none here. This is all the same green. So again, they got it here. So it's like right here, they forgot to do whatever it is they did to make it lighter in there. And they just went inside of the creases there uh, for, it looks like a fair bit of the arm, maybe a little bit, but um, you know what? This, and yes, I, I'm, I'm critiquing because it's what I do, but uh, this looks really nice. Like this is actually quite good. This is better than I thought it would be. This is a cool guy and I would have no problem painting it or fighting against him like at all. Like he's really nice and definitely better than the great plastic for sure. A hundred percent. Uh, really do appreciate that. Um, and again, the assembly is actually, you know, good enough to where I'm not even too bothered by it. Um, stuff like here, it actually blends in, which I, I dig, right? Um, here, there's a little bit of the one where I, I wish it would have done a little gap fill right there and then perhaps right here as well. But, um, overall, I think he looks great. I mean, look, again, I'm really impressed with these, these, uh, uh, kind of spikes turned out great, especially the kind of dark green right there kind of separates his face there. And then you got the brightness down here. Really, really nice. I think the only thing I'm bummed about is that eye right there, but everything else I'm actually really happy with. I think it looks super cool. I dig it. I like them. All right, so that's that. Very nice about that, which means all the other ones I'm sure look great as well. I I didn't really have too many doubts, so uh, they, they're they set up with a good manufacturer that's, that's making some cool stuff. So I'm gonna put him back in there. Now, what I'm curious about, I'm not gonna be showing the minis. I've already shown the minis in my previous unboxing. There's a link to that below. But I'm curious about all the printed material. So I have my copy of Arena, the 1.0, and I have this new one. And we're going to see what the printed components are like comparatively. Nobody's really talked about that. We always talked about the minis because they were kind of the pain point of that one. But the cardstock was actually always fine. So I'll be kind of interested to see because a different manufacturer is a different manufacturer, not just for the minis, at least not to my knowledge. They might have only changed the minis. I am not sure. I'll see if I can find out. Um, but if they change the manufacturers for everything, uh, like wholesale, which I actually suspected they did, I don't think they went for a specific one with that. The one that I sent them to um, tends to kind of do, do everything for the person. Uh, they, they, they tend to kind of handle that. They actually manage, ooh, that was loud. This is gonna be loud. Um, I think like five manufacturers in total, and then they kind of divvy out your work. So one of them will, you know, oh, you want these minis like this? Okay, well, we'll have these guys make it, and we'll be your in-between. So it's like we're making it, but really there's actually separate companies or separate warehouses or factories or whatever you want to call it that are, that are uh, kind of making them that just work together, if that makes sense. Um, and so, oh, okay. All right, so let's put this kind of side by side. Here's this one. Here is my copy. Whew. Now, can you spot the difference? I will say right now, 
um, this looks darker. And I think, I think it just looks darker. Let me go and flip this so we're doing the same side here. And maybe, maybe not. No, okay, yeah. Well, it looks the same. It's just darker on that side. Okay, so that's just me seeing things that aren't there. Uh, all right, well, let's go and open it up and, and take a look. They feel the exact same. And maybe, maybe they didn't change this at all. But this is the new one. I imagine inside will be fairly different just because... Yeah, they're gonna have you know advertisements for uh, Tenera's collection here, which is I think cool to see. Ah, I see. I want to see those. those guys look cool. All the dragons. Can't wait for it. It's gonna be awesome. The legendary box, the Tenera's RPG. That's uh, going on at the time of recording, actually. And yeah, this green. See, this doesn't look as good. The render doesn't look nearly as good because it doesn't have the the darkness on the on the wing or and the um. Uh, it doesn't have the dry brush on the the bottom here. It doesn't have the the darkened like horns and tusks and stuff like that. So yeah, the render actually looks worse. That almost never happens. <laughs> we got a quick start guide. We have the quest guide. We have the campaign tome. We have the rule book and then some stuff here. Now if we're gonna open up my copy here, oh my gosh. Okay, we just have a whole bunch of junk. So let's go and get right to the minis here. Okay. Well, not not just the minis, but I guess how they're stored. Because I imagine most of the printed material is about the same. And as you can see... Get this out of the way too. Okay, oh my gosh. And there we go. Uh, very different here as well. So this is all wrapped up in one. This is kind of what I'm interested in, but I'm also interested in the storage. So they have this here. That's kind of nice. And now this, now this is looking fairly much the same. However, <laughs> the minis are very different. So it's interesting to know that they they, they, they pretty much did the same things here. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So here's, here he is unpainted. Again, painted much better, 100%. Uh, go with painted if you can. Uh, just clearly, clearly better. And fighting dragons is cool and should be epic. Okay, so moving on here. This is blank in there. That's kind of interesting. But we'll check kind of the everything else. But yeah, this is looking. I mean, so this is game trays, and this is game trays. So yeah, I mean, so that that this this will be the same, right? Um, however, it looks like the spots are pretty much the same as well. Okay, no, because see, this is this one's different here, right? Because <laughs> the, the, the minis changed just a little bit. Let me zoom in here, just just for effect. Again, I look at the minis in much closer detail, in much closer detail in my previous uh, unboxing, but <laughs> yeah, a little different. Okay, that's funny. Let's uh, take a look at some uh, a, a card and then some uh, card stock, and I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Because otherwise, it should be pretty much the same. I'll lift this up to see underneath just to kind of check. I'm also interested in um, I have the legendary box here that I'm going to open up because I'm interested in the dungeon terrain. Because uh, again, it's one of those things where like this dragon is different than the uh, than the 1.01 and again I, I did kind of show that but as you can see the texture is different the color is different um, they actually changed the face a little bit he's squinty eyed here and there he's not so there are kind of changes they they didn't really touch on that they still kind of did because again when you change manufacturer you're gonna have to do a new sculpt anyway okay so here is a new card and here is an old card, and they feel different, at least these do. Um, just ever so slightly, this feels smoother, and then this is not as smooth. This is a little bit rougher, this kind of new one here. Um, they feel about the same resistance-wise. This one is cut quite nicely. This is kind of interesting. And this one is a little bit rougher. You can see the, um, the, the little bit of a kind of roughness there a little, a little white that's showing up all right compared to compared to this i'll grab another one which 
doesn't really have that, at least not as easily. And this feels really smooth. And this does not quite feel smooth. Now maybe that was a bad one. Let me let me take a well, we'll take one from the middle here. But uh, no, these are all not feeling quite as good. Uh, and different manufacturers will have strengths in different areas as well. Uh, so that's very much a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and I don't know where that was supposed to be. Let's let's take a villain card from the middle of this one too. Let's take this one. I guess not the middle. It's towards the back, but whatever. And uh, you can actually see probably a reflective difference as well. Um, maybe not super much, but this this is definitely smoother. So I don't know. If Yeah, did you hear that noise difference? Here's the old, here's the new one, and here's the old one. It's it's like almost non-existent. Um, again, they 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 feel like this one might be a little bit less rigid, but it's pretty close. Um, though I feel this may have a bit more spring, and and part of it might just be that this feels a little bit more like paper. Um, and part of that, I think, is this rough cut here. That's just a little bit rougher. Okay, so, in my opinion, the cards are better in the old one, actually. Um, where did they, yeah, here, right here. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, these are, these are um, a little bit cheaper, in my opinion. At least they feel a little bit cheaper. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and open these, and let's, let's keep diving in. Um, this is the new one. See, I can tell just by the feel. Just by the feel, I can tell. Yep. 100%. <laughs> okay. Let's compare. This is exactly what I was interested in. Is, okay, well, what all is different? <laughs> right? Because, if you, again, manufacturers change. That means... It's pretty much all different now. I mean, you can give them the same files. You can even give them the same instructions. You can tell them to use the same core. You can tell them to do all sorts of stuff. But uh, it's kind of like how every microphone has a different, uh, a different, um, I don't know. I don't want to say soul, but a different sound. When I record on the microphone I'm recording here, um, it's different than um, the microphone uh, from Yeti versus Rode or something like that. Even within two different versions of the same road a lot of times you can get a same feel there okay so here's this here's this now this is interesting because this now is smoother and this one has a bit more texture to it a bit more uh, a little bit more linen feel to it um, whereas this is uh, and again it's probably just the difference between their linen I don't know I'm gonna get really close here if you, you can see any texture difference or not or if it's very obvious I'm not sure I'd have to kind of look uh, maybe a little bit closer, probably like how you're looking at it right now. But um, yeah, kind of interesting. They look the well. No, actually, there's a thickness difference. Do you do you do you see that? So if you look right here, there you go. So here's the old one and the new one. The old one is skinnier and the new one is thicker. And I think that's noticeable too. This has a lot more wiggle than than this. This one is, is moving where my thumb is mostly, and this one is kind of bending back and forth here, not necessarily where my thumb is. So that, that bend is more here, and this one is more here. At least I can feel the resistance here a little bit more. Uh, so that's interesting, that's kind of cool. Um, so <laughs> you win some, you lose some, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, you know, again, uh, uh, none of these components are necessarily bad. Um, I really do wish the cards were maybe a little bit better. But um, um, and, and if you notice, you know, the, the color changed and all that kind of stuff, you can kind of see see that a little bit too. Um, but but all the butts. Um, I think yeah, this is a cleaner lid. Um, this is interesting to see the difference here. Okay, so looking here, just looking here, and again, I don't know what I, 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 I packed mine to be a little bit more efficient anyway, and so there's some stuff there that isn't in the other ones, but um, yeah, pretty much the same. And then on the very bottom, the, the, the tippy top bottom, 
Okay, we got some tokens. So let's take a look and see if there are any in there. There might not be any in here because I have to punch them out. Okay, so just, just the die. And okay, so this is interesting because these guys, again, did not really get re-sculpted at all. So they're going to be the same. Let's take blue here. That's all, whatever. Okay, so this is old and new. Um, or no, no, I guarantee it's this way. I guarantee it. Uh, because they thickened the base. So this is different. Okay, so let's let's take a look. Okay, so they thickened the base here. Okay, they uh, definitely added texture. Do you see the the difference in texture here, or at least what? And again, the blue isn't necessarily the ideal here. Uh, let's actually do red. Red red shows up really well anyway. And one of the problems with colored plastics is some of them look worse um, than they are, especially when filmed and photographed. So let's take a look at the red here. Different reds even too. Um, but you can see the see how this is all warped and, and skinny versus a little bit thicker and not as warped <laughs> a little bit slightly maybe actually this is kind of funny because he's he's not centered on the ball on mine and is actually a little bent oh yeah he did get a little bent look, look at this you see this right here oh bummer oh that's too bad but what you can see either way is the texture difference so there's this versus this and again the on the side here night and day it's a huge difference here this is like smooth this is textured the whole way this has a nasty mold line this does not come over on the actual mini itself this is where it was kind of like built but as you can see here it has like these these marks here where it's obvious where it was put together versus being fine so even if the model is the same it's still better if that makes sense let's go purple on the guys i'll take a look there and then we'll take a look at the, the chests and uh looks like my black die moved which the die will be different too again a different manufacturer so we'll take a look there okay here's old versus new big difference on the texture here look at the chain difference too look at the chain of the old one this kind of like really fat chain versus a chain on the new one which is much th uh, thinner look at the muscle definition too that's actually pretty different as well you'll see uh, kind of, almost kind of flabby versus a little bit more muscular here um here you can't even tell he has a beard here you can actually tell the texture of the beard um so that's also interesting very kind of just cool to see the differences and and, and the changes between the two um, a lot more definition on this one for sure. Okay, let's take a look at some chess. New one, old one. So as you can see, they did pick a kind of a, a sepia, more tannish color versus a more light gray. And the darker one should be a little bit uh, nicer to see differences and stuff like that. Um, this one isn't quite as symboled as good as it could be in that it wasn't glued down perfectly straight this one was actually glued a little bit better but you can see the difference i think mostly in the wood it's not a whole lot this one's actually pretty close but you can see the wood grain here a little bit more than you can see here you can see that main line here on both but then you can see the offshoots here and then this one up here a little bit better as well i'd also say now just looking at it this line seems a little bit crisper to me like around the skull and all that kind of stuff but otherwise these are actually pretty pretty close so not too different on those okay look at dice real quick and we'll get some cardboard token about come on get get out of there come on game trays <laughs> okay old new uh, so I can tell you right now, and granted I've rolled these dice quite a few times, is that this one is a lot more clear black, a lot less scuffed, right? And I doubt, I doubt I did all the scuffing. Again, it's been a long time since I unboxed this darn thing, but uh, that's what I would say. The font is a little bit different as well. Do you see the difference, for instance, in this 11? This one has barely any kind of whatever you would call that tail thing here. And this one has a little bit more of one. Um, if we go over to the four, you'll see that the um, new one here 
has a little bit more of an outcropping to the side there versus this one that does not. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing there. Uh, this one's maybe a little bit closer. The numbers also seem to be a little bit fatter here compared to here, at least on that 20. Yeah, same, same thing with the 8. Um, so, yeah, just a little bit fatter numbers too, a little bit more easily readable perhaps. I would say better. Now, which, I, I would say better which, whichever rolls higher for me, really. And that's that, that's really all there is to it there. Um, here's the old tokens versus the new ones. It looks like, like mostly a color change, so I'm not too concerned with that. Let me get these punch boards out real quick. And then we'll look at those dungeon tiles and I think we'll be good. I don't know, you guys don't need me to unbox everything. I already unboxed it all in 1.0 so you can see all the content. Um, otherwise it's just kind of the changes I'm noting right now. So not too concerned about that. Okay. Now I have this token right here. So let's go and take a look at that. And I'll tell you right now because the saturation is different. Okay. So here's a new one. Here's the new one. Punch that out. Oh, that punched out beautifully. Okay. New, old. Okay, it actually is a, more or less the same from what I can tell coloration. I would say this one seems to be, yeah, it's definitely darker. So you can see the, I'll hold it like this a little bit so I can poke. You can see the outline here in this really kind of dark blue versus this which isn't nearly as outlined there. Um, and then this is a much deeper blue here as well. And then it just gets blacker as well. It's just overall more contrast and more color compared to the other one. Um, punch out wise, as you can see, uh, virtually no tag here versus a tag here and a tag here. So tags on both sides. Um, and then if you look on the sides here, I would say they have about the same, the same kind of sponginess, the same squeeze. Um, but when we're looking at the layers here, it's kind of interesting because from what I can tell, this shows layers and this shows layers. However, this shows layers uniformly. In other words, I see the layer here, I see the layer here, I see the layer here, and then that bottom layer. Here I see this layer, and then I just see this like squiggly lines pretty much throughout the rest of it. And it's not really a clear difference between the two. Now, ideally, in my opinion, you don't see any layers. Uh, and to me, that that is as squeeze as you can get. That's almost like wood at that point, right? Um, but it is kind of interesting that here, again, I get that clearly defined top one. And then I get the, uh, the uh, essentially just just nothing <laughs> like like it's just kind of like a, a mesh versus this one that has these kind of clear lines to it I don't know if that means anything all I know is no tags and better coloration on the new ones so that's what I got out of that and about the same sponginess so I don't think I really need to look at too much else I guess let's, let's look at a fire thing just because it's right here so we can kind of take a look there and uh, let's flip it to where it matches like this okay so now we're looking at the exact same thing again, new, old, as you can see, uh, a slight different, not quite as much, but a little bit higher contrast here, I would say between the two. Um, I, I don't want to be unfair with the lighting, but um, this one is much closer than the blue and the black. I will say that for sure. Um, but if I was to note anything, if you look at, because again, it's the saturation too, if you notice the yellow here versus the yellow here, let me go ahead and put it right close by. Um, this seems more yellow to me. Now, again, it is actually quite close, but it just seems that way to me anyway. What I will say also is that uh, tag, no tag. That's very nice to see. I'm seeing that consistently. So uh, overall, I would say the tiles look just as good um, when it comes to that. Like, There's not much of a difference, but definitely a cleaner kind of punch out. Okay, let's look at those uh, dungeon tiles. Or the, uh, let, let's look at those dungeon minis. Now actually, before we move on, I want to come back and take a look at these bad guy minis. Because again, they will have been redone even if they didn't get re-sculpted. And that was kind of a bummer for me. So, in the original, 
you had this guy, and this guy was your stand-in bad guy. He stood in for vampires and orcs and all sorts of stuff like that. You just kind of put him in as the bad guy, and he got used all the time. That's what the villain pack helps replace and fix in the uh, Tenerys RPG. Definitely recommended here. Here's the new version of him. So as you can see, obviously a color change difference. Um, and one of the benefits I can see right now, uh, notice his, his weapon is a little bit different, by the way. It's been toned down in this kind of spikiness here. But you see here, this happened quite a bit of times in the old one. So his foot almost melts into the ground here. Do you see that? Do you see how it just kind of like comes out of the ground almost? It looks kind of silly. And if you look here, you'll see it looks much more separated now. There's a little bit of a ridge line there. It just looks better here. I'll put them side by side so you can kind of see. Um, but yeah, this one clearly kind of melts in a bit more than this one. This one looks a lot better there. Um, another interesting thing is like, it kind of like went like bent, like, like they pushed it in to glue it and it didn't quite fit well, whereas this one is just attached to better there, I would say. Additionally, there's kind of this line here where he was like assembled. Whereas you can see that's not, it's done a lot better here as well. Um, when it comes to his, his kind of, make sure that's in focus there. When it comes to his like line, his like helmet here, let me zoom in a little bit actually for you guys, just so you really see it. Um, comes this line here, you can see how there's a little bit more of a mold line here than here where there's almost none. And then you got this like texture inside of this now, whereas here, it's kind of there, but then it's also kind of not. <laughs> Whereas on the side, well, I guess it's just not on the side, so never mind about that. Um, overall, again, it's the same sculpt, really, but just with some minor improvements, um, I think, anyway, uh, from what I can tell. Notice here, this gets really flat, and then here, they actually don't fatten it up. It's not this huge fat cape anymore, and it even gets some texture in there as well. And so there's just kind of a little bit right here that's part of the cape that's kind of separate versus we're just going to fill in the whole leg, like the head leg disappears, um, which is pretty much what happens there. So yeah, definitely some improvements there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, it looks like they stored these a little bit different, but that's okay. Or I stored them different, I guess there's no real right or wrong way to put it. Okay, again, new and old. Um, and again, I would say better. So right here, this was assembled, as you can see right here, was this one, they didn't need to do that. They were kind of smarter about pull direction probably there. Though it looks like here, this was a one piece, and now this was assembled here. Though, actually, no, it's not. It's just a really good, really good line there. <laughs> so you can see, uh, this is actually a difference here. So here you can see more of the leg, and here this kind of skirt thing goes all the way down uh, to the knee pad area. Um, this one has a kind of a gnarly uh, runner uh, spot right there. But one of the big things here is you see his fingers, how his fingers keep going here. See how here his fingers just like aren't there. Like the, it, I don't know what's going on there. It's like it's the side of a thing. And then I guess his, his, his tips of his fingers come out of there. I don't know what's going on there. But that's clearly uh, been changed a little bit. Uh, here's another big one. So on the arm here, I'm sorry I was out of camera. On the arm here, there's almost no texture. Whereas here, it's this wonderful texture here that looks really nice, sounds really good. Um, so that's that's kind of a change. But, uh, and yeah, see again, that assembly, gone. They just did it all in one in one piece like that now. They're a little bit, a little bit better with it there. Um, and they've also thinned down this. See how thick this is? It's like some ridiculously thick, you know how heavy that would be? And a separate piece here. It's not a separate piece and thinner. So again, just all around better. Um, oh, actually the face. So the face right here, you see how it's all really smooth here. And here you get a little bit of a grate. That's kind of nice to see as well. So yep, mini's definitely improved. Even, even kind of the original bad ones are all better. And that's really nice to see. All right, let's go and look at those dungeon tiles and then I think we're good to go. Once again, I'm not getting to the dungeon tiles yet. I noticed another difference, so I was putting this back together. Here's the old one and the new one. Obviously, as you can see, there has been an art change here. And this one is very kind of squarish and, you know, just gonna get, like it gets kind of fuzzy here. And then you can just kind of add that lava texture here. And here it's very much part of the same kind of art style, in my opinion, as what's around it. So they, they, they changed the lava here. 
uh, definitely uh, had these like big old cracks versus more of a artificial pit there, in my opinion. Um, the sword here is just sitting on top, plain as day. And then here the sword has some sand kicked over it, essentially. And you'll see that on pretty much everything. So the, the helmet has a kind of uh, added effect as well. So that's definitely there. Now on the sides, look at this. So on the old one, the side is pretty much... Just, just kind of, there's, a, I think, a hair there. Again, I've used this map plenty. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's kind of compressed. A little fuzzy, fuzzy, but not too bad. And you look at the um, the new one here, and it's like, it has like this really fuzzy layer there in the in the middle. Uh, like, yeah, I can really feel it. So let's go ahead and open it up. And uh, I'm curious to see. So that's, um, I think I might just keep it here and open it up on there. So here's going to be the the uh old one Shh, so loud my goodness okay so here's the old map okay there we are ta-da <laughs> not even on a flat surface but whatever <laughs> now here's the new one I'll open that up can i see oh wow i think that's that's way different too hold on let me Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe I just don't remember it right. Yeah, it looks, looks about the same. All right, never mind. I don't remember that much contrast on it. But what the heck do I know? <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Flip it on over. Actually, I think it needs to go the other way it does. It needs to go this way. Oh, man. Not enough room. That, that's really all there is to it. Okay. Whew. Here is the new one. So that lava is throughout like that, by the way. That's definitely a thing. Um, let's see. Do I notice any other differences? Not, not a huge amount. They added some more stuff. So, for instance, there's nothing here. Let me turn, turn that a little bit more over. There's nothing here on the old one. Here they added some chains. Um, so there's more chains over here, essentially in this corner. So just, just some various things. I don't see, this is just a square, right? A, just a plain square, like very artificial square. This one has it all cracked, but then also has like chains holding this bridge in place. Whereas this bridge is just kind of like there. I know it's kind of at the top of the camera, but you can still kind of see what I'm talking about. So various stuff like that. There's nothing here. There's stuff there, so they, they went and kind of took their time to improve it a little bit, and I, I kind of dig that. I think it looks better for it. Um, definitely a better uh, a better map, right? And so that, that's pretty cool. And I imagine there's some changes on the generic back side as well. But that's the old. This is the new. Now, let's finally get to those dungeon tiles, or dungeon miniatures. I don't want to look at no tiles. Okay, so here's that, and if I'm not mistaken, this replaces, I'm trying to remember how much this does replace. Let me take a look. I think it replaces pretty much everything, which is kind of interesting. So this big box here replaces both this, which is what I'm kind of interested in, and oh, this, which is a lot more space. So I think they were very efficient here, so I'll be interested to see kind of how that looks like. Let's go and take a look. I'm also interested to see Diablo because I was not, I was kind of bummed because he's a cool model. And again, the models in the original one were not so great. So that was kind of a, a big bummer for me. So I'll be really excited to see the new one and see what's improved there. So that'll be kind of cool. All right, come on, let's, let's open this up. Oh my gosh, okay, there we go. That was going to be embarrassing. Uh, I did notice that they did wrap their boxes, and not every company does that. Uh, so kind of interesting that they chose to do so. All right. Okay. There we are. We are in, guys. <laughs>
This is intentional. As promised in our last case, started campaign, the manufacturing process involved premature was modified. This means they were not printed all the exciting material you'll find in this box. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I can move my other guys into this. Okay. Well, thank you for explaining that. And then this is just what, like a visual guide? What is, what is this for? Oh, okay. For the, for the Hydra. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Got some extra, uh, cards for them. And we got one guy here, one lonely guy. <laughs> Take a look. Um, so again, doesn't have the sculpted base of the other guys. We'll have to be zooming in and out here. He does have a little bit of a bent weapon here. I'll have to kind of give some TLC to kind of bend back. But overall, still really nice looking. Uh, really happy with him. I think he looks quite good. I am okay with that. Um, a little soft details perhaps on the back there. Um, and these are a little bit thicker than I would have liked. Uh, yeah, no, there's a lot thicker than I would have liked. So see how thick that is? That's a thickness that, that the, re the reworked models get rid of. Um, that's more of a one-to-one -one change, just kind of with crisper detail for the looks of it. So let's go ahead and do all that. Again, I've shown you all of these minis, um, I believe, uh, in, in, in my other my other uh, unboxing so these are the kind of the bad guys here I'm not gonna pick them all up just because again I've, I've kind of shown them all already um, I am curious to see are the, some of the heroes Is that tape get out of here tape who do, you, who do you think you are I don't want no tape hate tape <laughs> sorry Hydra okay so here is the I mean, I don't see his cat here. Uh, oh yeah, it's right, right here, right here. So, uh, yeah, no, this is uh, the same model, really. Again, a little bit thicker here than I would have liked, right? That, that that's pretty thick, I feel. Um, I believe they are getting reworked in Tenaris, and so that's where you would kind of want to replace these guys, uh, just so you get kind of a a, a a better deal for you know the, the shapeshifter and stuff like that, because they're cool. They're they're both cool. Um, cool guys but other than that I think everything else I, again looks better than it did this is kind of the whole point okay so there's all of that and then here this is where I was kind of curious oh my gosh okay so this oh, I can't get the tape off me I right, was look at Diablo I can tell you right now better <laughs> so my Diablo didn't stand on his base his base was all warped this one is at least a little bit better. The texture on here, I think, looks nicer too, from what I remember. Again, it has been a while. I definitely could have used a re-sculpt. I feel his wings are quite thick, right? They're still kind of thick and a little, a little blockier than I would have liked. Um, but definitely a better version of the same guy. And again, at least this guy stands, which is nice. And his uh, weapon was droopy too, so it's good to see he doesn't have a droopy weapon. <laughs> And yeah, they really tucked him in there, huh? And here's the Hydra. Definitely looks better. I'm, I'm going to have to take the Hydra out. So let, let's go ahead and... Because I want to look at all this stuff, actually. So let's take a look. The Heroes and Dungeons. Well, I think... Is this... This one, this one has Diablo. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you Diablo. I'll show you my Diablo. My sad, sad Diablo. Sorry, I got some extra characters in there. <laughs> again, it's all about efficiency. So, again, he wobbles a little bit. Kind of hard to show on there. But you can kind of see the the bend. You see the bend there? Or the lights reflecting right here? So, it, like, bends up. Like, it's it's really sad. I'll move this over a little bit. You can kind of see. So, this bends up. And, again, you can really feel it. It's, it kind of sucks. So, here's the difference between the two. Now I'm gonna have to zoom out again. Ugh, go, go figure. Work hard. <laughs> okay, so I think the skulls on the floor look better. They look a little bit more defined for me, especially a big clump of them. Like this right here gets really messy, whereas here you can clearly see them. Um, and uh, let's see, what else, what else? Uh, not a whole lot different. Again, this isn't quite as droopy because this isn't bent up. Mine's at least straight in this one. This texture is a little bit more defined. 
compared to this. Not by a huge amount, but by a little bit. Again, they, this is pretty much the exact same mold. Um, I will say the assembly, actually, on these kind of dorky looking hands is better in the back in here. But in this one, the front one is better than this one, which just looks silly. So, uh, yeah, at least the weapon isn't, isn't uh, bent and stuff like that. So, and the base is straight, which, you know, thank God for that. But uh, that's kind of the, the thing there. So I think now the Hydra and all that are in the other one. Oh, is the Hydra in here? I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I think the Hydra's in, in that one, but could be mistaken. Anybody in? Now I'm second guessing myself. Let me let's take a look at the back of the box. No. Okay. Yeah, I was right. Of course I was right. Please. Okay. Heroes and Dungeons expansion. Let's take a look. Oh man. Oh man. Hold on a second. Look at this. What is this? right here oh my goodness let me see if i can't fix that oh that glue job how did i not notice oh well i guess i did because here i am fixing it there oh, that's just gonna keep popping up i'm sure Ugh. okay that's fine it's fine it's fine i don't think he went in all the way oh well yeah, that's how he is all right Okay. Are these heroes, or I showed you the difference here. So here is kind of what I'm curious on. Let's go ahead and take a big wall. Let's take a big wall. Um, yeah, that's fine. So that is this right here. Okay, so here's the difference here. Now the question is, is there any noticeable difference? Is there really any huge difference here? Um, none that I am seeing. This is pretty straightforward. Now, these are not multi-piece or anything like that. So it should be pretty, pretty, again, pretty straightforward of a transfer. And in fact, they even look the same color, really. There's maybe a slight difference, um, in the color. Now, one thing I kind of had an issue with is, you see how that kind of turns up a little bit? And that happens a lot. See how, like, if I put it flat here, so let's, let's, when you set it down is kind of when you notice that. So let me actually, oh yeah, yeah. So that's that's a lot straighter. So, um, here we're gonna push this ever so slightly back. Well, here we'll uh, we'll use it right here. So here is, I'll zoom in here. Oh, oh, too much. Okay, right here. That's good. We're gonna move this up. Okay, so. I'll be able to tell the which one's which. This is the old one. Okay, so when you put them down there, you should see pretty much no gap there. And there's actually a, a, a bigger gap there because because it angles up, right? It, it, it kind of shoots up. So ho hopefully you can kind of see that, how it just... There's a little bit of an angle up, and that happens on actually quite a few of them like that. I've always kind of noticed that, so I can easily tell old one, new one, just based off that. So that's kind of nice. I dig that. Let's look at a door real quick. Let's look at big doors. Where are my big doors at? I'm gonna, okay, let's look at a small door then. Fine. Where are my small doors at? Right here. <laughs> okay, here we are. Here's kind of the, the door difference. Again, old, new. Not seeing a huge difference here, but these are pretty exact. Even the poor spout here, it's like the exact same. Like they're pretty much the same as far as I can tell. Um, even the same color, and I wonder if, I wonder if they went through a different manufacturer, like the same manufacturer or not. I'm I'm not sure. Um, what I will say is that. Uh, uh, I'm just glad those are at least straight. All right, let's look at the Hydra. Where is the Hydra? Where is my Hydra at? I don't even know. I don't even know which box it's in. My goodness. It's a legendary box. Here's this. Not in there. Oh, oh, he's in a separate box. All right, well, I'm not going to bother with him. We'll just look at him. I'm not going to go look for the box. 
we will just look at this guy on his own. Uh, quite good. I will say that. Actually, fairly well assembled. Which assembly has been kind of hit or miss, but this is pretty good. They do have like a lines all the way through here. Again, he probably could have used a, a little bit of a rework, rework when it comes to, you know, how many... Because uh, just based on uh, trying to hide that a little bit better. When you have the open mouth like that, it's pretty hard, depending on pull direction, especially with something like this, to really get it all in one 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 go here this main head though i think looks great these teeth look really nice the eyes are really nice and defined this would look great painted i can tell you that much uh very cool all right well that's it that's all i wanted to kind of note is just okay what's different what's going on here you know what's well, well, especially what was interesting was the cards i felt um the cards are the def definitely the biggest but the player cards are thicker now too which is super cool so um, yeah, definitely interesting. All right, let me know if you've had time to play this yet and what you think, but I would love to hear it. I don't know if I sold you guys on a lot of this or not, but I really enjoyed my time with Arena, and I'd love to hear what you've been thinking of as you've been playing through it. So let me know in the comments below. I would love to kind of uh, get a gauge on if you guys agree with me on just how how RPG-like it was and just how enjoyable it was uh, as far as story goes. So let me know. And with that, I'll let you guys go. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see, talk to you guys again real soon.